Oh my goodness. I don't even know how this is going to turn out. I don't know if I'm going to be in focus. It could be anything. Some things never change. Anyway. Hi. So, uh, I've moved to America and I got married. It's going pretty great. Love it. Um, don't really know how to go into, hey, I want to make some videos again for funsies and streaming um, from that. But here I am. <laughs> I live now in Austin, Texas, which is pretty great. Um, and I'm doing my art and my leather work and I've been looking after my health as well because my back and hips went to shit a little bit, a little bit. So uh, I've been working on that as well. And uh, yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to be in focus with this, but you know, we're just going to go with it. And we're just going to stick this at the beginning of my video. I spent some time doing some... Another life update in general. Now there's a singing clock in, in my life. You know, people would ask Max, or they'd ask me, like, what's the story behind that clock? Because it's like, you know, it's it looks like it's been given as a gift. Like, what's the story behind that? And I went and asked him, and he was like, I saw it in Costco when my friends had one. I saw it in Costco and I went to buy it. And I was like, okay. If you can even fucking hear that. Are you done? No? Na, 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 Anyway, I was doing some video recording for uh, leg, leg day prep. It's not leg day. You'll see why I'm saying leg day though. Um, for Friendsgiving prep, I made so many, so many things. I made crafts. I made, I customized pot holders. I customized coasters and ornaments and I screen printed um, packaging for handmade wax melts in the shape of Texas in them. I <laughs> bandanas with the dogs. I learned how to screen print so I could screen print my own shirts. So I was safe to say the uh, creativity is coming back quite a lot. I was like a little fucking gremlin in that room just doing all that. It was great. What I want to bring back now though is uh, <coughs> I want to be painting more. I want to do my guitar stuff again. I want to paint guitars. So maybe we've got a guitar body. Um, I want to be doing my DIYs and my woodworking. And it's just making my mind think that it is worth to do these things. Just because there's not a quick return on um, something, I'm not. Just because that energy isn't going straight into making money, paying bills, it's still. I'm still convincing myself that it's still worth doing and I'll make some good stuff. And even this video, I put all those bits together and that's like memories. Why am I not doing that more? Because I don't think it's worthy. <laughs> worthy? Worthy. Which is stupid. So I'm gonna work on that by doing some more videos. Maybe I'll make some stuff and do some streams and I need to realize that my time spent doing creative stuff isn't wasted because I have the most supportive husband and family ever that like he's like do it stream like you, you need to do it it's better than not doing it which is the thing I'm trying to think of it's better than just not doing it I know I can do it and I can make pretty things but it's making me think you know let's do this instead of my other work whatever um so it's a bit of a leap as well doing more creative things and I know it's so worth it um, but that struggle of you know keeping up with people and the grind and seeing numbers and all that sort of thing so I think I need to really get the fuck over myself and make things I mean I think that's pretty true really isn't it so I think that's what I'm going to do. I've got me in today. I'm doing uh, role play stuff, D&D type stuff. So I thought that's exciting as well. I've got me in today. Um, I've been productive. Also, this is my usual setup. This is where Max set up for uh, the Friendsgiving stream. 
See, my husband is a like production master, he's good with audio, he's good with like all production stuff and like video and streaming and so I have him at my like disposal for all these things as well so I've got no bloody excuse. Could have like even clickbaited this and said I married you like a smelly guy. Just realised that. Damn it. Loads of English people know Mac. People I went to school with like, I like, used to watch his videos, very strange. Anyway, enjoy this four minute clip that you're going to see in a second that is going to trail behind me rambling for however long. Hopefully the mic worked. Hopefully I'm in focus. If I'm not in focus, then this was a really good blur video. That's it. Glad to be back. I hope you're doing all right. Tell me what's going on with your life as well. Tell me what's going on. Tell me things that have changed. You've probably been, people are going to be through university, through different jobs. They've probably had like six kids. Right, enjoy the next bit. Let's see if this actually works. Because it's useful if it is. I'll just stick this camera and just chat to you guys. My goodness. Nah. Yelling whilst I bake cookies. I can't. Just whisper. <laughs> 